Alright, this is Race Driving for the Super Nintendo. Honestly, one of the worst games I've ever played. I'm not even kidding. I've been playing Super Nintendo since I was four, and I have yet to play a game that's worse than this. What better way to set the tone for how bad a game is than to have crappy music? I mean, listen to this. It sounds like uh, the soundtrack to a meth-addicted mechanics nightmare or something. And then when you press start, you're treated to more wonderful music. Yeah, Mozart has got nothing on this. So anyway, you've got three tracks. The stunt track, it, it's the exact same track from Hard Driving. The autocross track, it, it's so boring, it's hardly even worth mentioning. You just go in a straight line for most of the time, and then you go on a small turn, and then more straight track. So the Super Stunt track is the one that we'll be mostly talking about. And by that I mean the only one we'll be talking about. So yeah, you press start and uh, yeah, listen to this music. This time it sounds like it was composed by a guy with one finger. He just started banging on the keyboard. So yeah, let's press start and uh... Oh my god, I mean, look at this. Uh, can somebody tell me what this is supposed to be? Because to me, that this looks like polygonal purgatory. Just, just look at the graphics. I mean, everything's moving at like two frames a second. Uh, this uh, brings up my first complaint with this game: uh, the controls. You know, you're not used to controlling games that run at two frames a second. Well, look at this. I, I die because I drove over a, a patch of dark green grass. Are you, are you kidding me? I mean, what the hell is this? Is this a minefield, an Indian burial ground, or, or both? My money's on both. Uh, honest to God, Turkish Star Wars maze makes more sense than this. Jesus. So then, you know, you go driving through this flat land. I don't know if this is supposed to be like Iowa or something. And then, you know, if you drive off track, which you probably will... Well, I mean, you just spin out of control. I, you have no control over your car, f well, for a few seconds, but for those few seconds, you have better control over the economy than you do over the car. It's ridiculous. So then, you know, once again, you better be careful when you go up this slope, because, yep, you crash. And one thing I don't understand is how come every single time you crash, your car explodes? I mean, I mean... What is the logic behind this game? Uh, you crash and then your car explodes? Like, like, who made this game? Michael Bay? So then after a while, you have to endure this jump. Oh my god, I hate this part. It takes so much precision. It, it's like a martial art or something. You know, it, if you go too fast, you crash. If you go too slow, you crash. Yeah, go figure, but... I mean, what you have to do to get past this part is you have to slow down when you're going up the jump, and then when you're at the very top, you have to speed up. So yeah, here I actually get past the jump, and I swear, whenever I get past a jump in this game, I feel, there sh I feel like there should be a celebration on Endor or something, because of how big of a pain in the ass it is. And if you've played this game, you would know that there is nothing more satisfying than getting past this jump. Well, I mean, unless you actually go outside and do charity work or something. So anyway, after more flatland driving, you, you get to this part, which is a loop. I mean, seeing the other parts of the game, I don't. it goes without me saying that this part is, is just awful. I mean, look at this. I, I get off the loop, and then I just crash. It's not like any of the other crashes in this game made any sense, but... I mean, this is even more confusing. And then, after that, you get to this part, which... Looks like it was designed by Frank Geary or something. All you have to do is, once you see a turn, you just have to hold down left. And then, before you know it, you're done. And then you get to this, uh, big hill. It's not even really a hill, it's just... A big slope. And here's basically the last part of the track. You've got this tunnel with some big truck in the middle. 
you know, all you have to do is just take a side of the tunnel, and then once again, just hold down left or right, um, and then you're past it. And that's it. That's the super stunt track for you. I don't know what else to say. Uh, the game sucks. Don't even waste the space on your hard drive with the ROM. Uh, don't even think about spending money on it. And, uh, sorry for wasting your time with this crappy review. See you later.